hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to tell you how to remove your dynamic web project from web logic server so let's start our video tutorial so on your browser this is how you can see the console of your web project server in your login window you need to provide the login information to your web logic server domain so this is my username and password you need to provide here this is how the home page you will see here on the right on the left side of your on your left side you will see that there is a domain structure is there and the, under the base domain directory structure you will see deployment click on this link deployment link on the right side on your right side you will see that uh, summary of the deployment and uh, within the deployment table you will see that there are two entries are there and you can select second entry from your deployment table once you select the second entry you will see that there are buttons that are enabled now if you are not selecting this project you will see that the update delete start stop button are disabled so once you select the project then only the button will be enabled and you can delete or undeploy your web application from web logic server or you can deactivate your web application so i will show you how to deactivate of your web application you need to select the state of your application you will see that consolidated state stop so for stop now now when work completes stop but continue serving administration request these are the three steps or uh, three options you may available inside the inside this drop down list so when the work completes stop it automatically so at the time of accessing any web application in your browser if someone said stop this one so your current work will complete and your application will be stopped there now the process is going on and it is stop running the state has been changed of your application if you run your application in your browser you will see that select deployment has been requested to stop after one complete so I need to forcefully stop now so this is the state of your project has changed to prepare now if you access you will get error for not for now the resources that you are trying to access is not active on your web logic server so this is how you can stop or you can undeploy your project from web application server currently if you select this checkbox of this entry and you and if you say delete it will delete this entry will be deleted from your web application or the 
the state of your project you wanted to bring into the active state so you need to select this checkbox then under the start on this click on this drop down list you will set you, here you will see the servicing all request servicing all lead administration request so i will say all request means if you click on servicing all request all the web application or all the deployment in your web logic server will be turned into active state so instead of selecting this option i will say that servicing only administration request or this is service for only administration request i will say servicing all request start all the web application that are you selected as checkbox all this application will come into the active state so this is the state of the application has been changing so this is how you can change the state of your application you can stop your application for accessing to the outer outside world or you can delete your application from your web logic server so this is about how to undeployed how to delete your application how to change the state of your application so thank you friends thank you for watching this video if you are new on my video channel if you are new on my youtube channel please subscribe click on the subscribe button like press like and share